Hey everybody, this is Beth Wilson, Pulaski County Horticulture Agent. Today um, we're going to make um, our own little propagation unit. I'm going to show you how to make this. It's extremely simple. Um, basically, it takes it's two pots. Uh, the, the interior pot is going to act as your water reservoir. The outer pot is going to hold your media. Um, and it's a good way to just propagate a few plants around the house. It's nothing fancy. But it's, for me, I, I like to keep two or three of these around all the time. Um, but the concept, as I said, was a, a pot in a pot sort of thing. So you take two pots, the outer one can be any material, but the um, inner one probably should be clay because the water reservoir, um, what it's gonna do is you fill this water reservoir up, the water's gonna seep out into that surrounding soil and kind of keep the cuttings just moist enough. Not too moist, hopefully not, uh, not you know, just, just the right amount. So anyway, what we're gonna do is construct one of these real quick, not gonna take too long. Here's your outer pot, here's your inner pot. Um, the inner pot got, has a hole in the bottom, so we do have to make sure we cover that hole because it is supposed to hold water. So I usually use some sort of wax um, to put in here, beeswax or something, but today I'll just use duct tape. We'll see how this works. It may not work worth a lick, but we'll give it a shot here anyway. So I'm gonna put the duct tape in the bottom. We'll see if it works or not. And then we're gonna start filling up the outer pot with some moistened uh, media. Okay, so just put a little bit of that in. And then what we're gonna do as we as we do this, we're gonna kind of nestle this other one down in there so it's at the right height. Okay, and it can be a little higher, but anyway, after that, it's just a matter of filling in around the edges here, like so. You get a little media in the inner interior pot nothing to worry about we'll get it out so you just kind of keep inserting the mix around and kind of firm it down this is when i need some background music to help things go a little faster so after we get that filled in we're basically ready to to propagate something um it's nice to have moistened media it, it doesn't do, it's not real dusty and it actually goes in a lot better so um as you can see from this pot i've done before um had some christmas uh, actually not christmas cactus this is thanksgiving cactus but anyway the little water reservoir you can't see the water there's a little bit of water in it um, these pots can be really, really small, um, so if you find one this small, that may be a better bet than the one that I had before. But anyway, you can see um, this one's already got some, some new growth here, so I know this has got roots. And if I were to tease this out of here, which we might as well do and take a look, um, you'd see that my cutting has, has some little roots there. So I'm ready to pot that up into another pot. Um, but you can do anything, any type of plant. You can even do, you know, woody plants or something like that. Um, but what you want to try to do is before you, you insert your cutting, if you're going to use any kind of, uh, especially if you're going to use some sort of a rooting hormone, you want to really do this, but take a pencil or something and, and kind of make a divot in there in the places that you're going to put your cuttings. And in this case, you know, I've got, uh, African violet. So you stick that in, firm the media around it, ready to go. Another uh, Thanksgiving cactus, put that in that other divot that I just made, firm it around there, and you're ready to go. The only thing else we need to do is keep this moistened and then fill up this reservoir um, as it needs to and just to keep this at the right moisture level. And these things should root um, you know, they, they do take a little while to root, but um, if you leave them alone for six weeks, eight weeks, you'll have a new little plant. 